Hey there, this is Jim at the Encourage Network. Today, I want to talk to you about something that touches all of us on our faith journey. It's doubts. Ever feel like you're not sure about God? That's completely normal. And you're not alone. I've had them. Doubts don't mean your faith is weak. They mean you're deeply thinking about what you really believe. It's a chance to make your faith stronger and more personal. Today we'll see how those tough questions don't pull us away from God. Instead, they lead us to a closer, more honest relationship with Him. So let's get ready to talk it out. Write down what bothers you and share your thoughts. We'll find out that by asking questions, we're actually getting closer to God every step of the way. You know, in our faith journey, sometimes things get tough, and we do start to doubt. I have for sure. You might even catch yourself asking, is God really real? But these tough times, they don't mean your faith is ending. They're actually starting of a deeper understanding. First off, it's okay to acknowledge your doubts. It's totally normal to question these things. Faith isn't about following blindly. It's about choosing to trust even when you've got questions. Remember, doubts don't pull your faith down. They show what you're really thinking about, what you truly believe. Why not just take a moment to jot things down that's bugging you? It's, it's something about doctrine, if it's something about a personal experience or maybe something that happened to you, write it down. It helps sort out those thoughts. And don't keep these things to yourself. By writing it down, you can show it to somebody and help you explain to one of your peers, or maybe a parent or mentor, or a friend. Chatting about your doubts can open up new insights and show you're not alone. Like it says in Galatians 6, 2, bear one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. So after that, try to revisit the scriptures with an open heart. The Bible is full of folks who doubted and questioned but got their way back to God. Think about Thomas who needed to touch Jesus' wounds, or Job who questioned God in his suffering. They weren't turned away, they were met with compassion. Psalms 56.3 says, when I am afraid, I put my trust in you. Keep connected to your faith community. Isolation can make doubts worse, but being with others can strengthen and clarify things. Maybe join a discussion group it can be really uplifting to hear others' faith stories. And keep praying. Talk to God about your doubts, just like you would about your hopes and joys. Prayer is a powerful way to find clarity and peace. Ask for the Holy Spirit's guidance to help you through doubts. Remember in James 1.5, it tells us, If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. So asking for wisdom, why you're doubting, he'll show it to you. Give yourself time and space to explore these questions. Face a journey with highs and lows, and every challenge is a chance for growth. Stay patient and keep going. The path might not always be clear, but with each step, you're moving toward a greater understanding and a stronger bond with God. So whatever doubts you're facing, know this. They're part of your unique spiritual path. They don't define your faith. They re refine your faith. Embrace them as chances to build a faith that's truly your own. Walk boldly with faith and remember every question, every doubt, and every sincere prayer is part of your ongoing story with God. You're not alone. Every step is guided by a hand greater than all your doubts. Remember, doubts are like the ebb and flow of natural, inevitable, and essential for growth. They don't push you away from the divine. They will pull you closer at a more genuine connection with Him. So let's walk boldly into this moment, armed with faith, fortified by hope, and enveloped by divine love. For in every question heart lies the potential for a deeper and more enduring faith, one that only survives the storms, but pushes you through to a stronger faith. This is Jim at the Encourage Network thanking you, and God bless.